Hi Jules, I'm back and today we're going to be learning to make this cute little album made from paper bags. All of these are paper bags. Please excuse my pup, he like he's barking at the wind. <laughs> Alright, so what you're going to need is eight paper bags. You can get these at your dollar store, Walmart, or any of your crafting supply stores. You're going to need two pieces of uh, cardstock and whatever embellishments or papers that you want to embellish your papers but I'm just going to show you how to make this uh, without all the embellishments alright so here we go so what you're going to need you're going to take two of your paper bags but first you're going to want to cut them down to the size you want your album and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut these down. It's right there. All right. It might be a little jagged. You might choose to use your cutter, but my cutter's put up for the moment, so just put these to the side because you could do something with these and the scraps that you're going to have left. So I'm going to put these to the side. All right, Let's set these to the side as well. You don't need them right now. Please excuse the glare. I've got my window open, and you can see the window open there. All right, now now that you have all your all eight of your bags cut. You're going to take two of those bags, set one, to the, set one to the side. Sorry, my phone just went off. Got to turn it down. There we go. All right, anyway, so you're going to take two of your paper bags, and you'll see the flap here. What you're going to do is you're going to fold that on the bottom. Fold it up. And James Lee just got that. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Guys. We gotta go with him now. Sorry about that, guys. Life happens. <laughs> But anyway, you want to fold your bag toward the ends, fold up like that. Now, you're going to set that to, to the side. Now, you're going to take the other bag and you're going to do the same thing. Fold it up. Now, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut right at the fold line, right here where it's creased. Right there. Alright. I'm going to set this to the side. Alright, so now you're going to have a piece that looks like this. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take the flap here that you see and you're going to slip it underneath one of the folds here in here now you don't want it butted up right up against the fold there because you're going to want to open and close this so you're going to want to leave a slight maybe one or two millimeter gap there that way we can open and close the page. So you are making what you what I would what we, what we would call a hinge. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue and you're going to glue the edge underneath. You don't want to get it too close to the end because you don't want to uh, you're going to be putting a 
a uh, card there. Now, next, you're going to glue this edge down. Uh, sorry, James Lee came in. He was talking to me. All right, now you glue that edge down. Then you're going to flip it over, and you're going to lift this up slightly, and you're going to glue that edge down. now you have the pocket. And that is your first basically signature. So you're going to do that however many times that you want to. Okay, I'm going to set that up there. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing again. You take the flap, stick this underneath, I'm going to slip that in, leave a little bit of a gap there, and we're going to glue it down. down. Flip her over. Put a line of glue here. Be careful not to put it too far in because you are going to be sticking cards in here. Okay. That's number two then. Very simple and easy. Okay, there's signature number two. Feel free to fast forward because we've got to do two more. three and one more to go.
Okay. Slip it in. Now you're going to glue it down again. You can choose to use double sided tape to do this, it's your choice. But I'm using glue because I don't have any double sided tape. <laughs> Just be careful. Alright, so now we have your signatures or your pockets. And so, see how easy that was? So now we have four signatures, and you now have little pockets to stick cards in. All right, now, this right here is going to be your front. Now, you're going to measure from the end of your bag from here to here and from here to here. You're basically going to make a cover. And so what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and we're going to measure from the sides. I'm going to take a pencil and just slightly mark where the edges are. All right. We're going to take our cutter and we're going to cut. Well, we marked. All right. Where's my marks? Turn. All right. Where did I mark it, guys? Don't you hate it when you do that? You use such a light mark, you can't find your marks. There that is. Huh. Oh. Alright, now we're going to cut. The edge. Well, my blade going to cut. Now we're going to cut the side. All right. Now we have that cut. Oh, that's a uneven cut. That's okay. This is just for tutorial purposes. All right, so now we have the front. And to measure, this is the quick way, no ruler, no nothing. Just take your page and you line it up with the edge, okay? You take the flap where it's bent right here and bend it over. And hence, you are making your front, your front crease. All right, you do this with the second one. Now we have our flaps. We want to burnish the edges. I'm just going to use my fingers. So now we have our front and our back. Now we have our signatures our covers. Okay, now you want to figure out where you want your holes. 
I'm just going to eyeball this and I'm going to use my my little hole punchers and I'm just going to line vaguely line this up where I want my holes okay and now as a as a uh, as a well, as a line up here use the same holes she punched before as a template. That's what I was trying to think of as a template, guys. Huh. Give me a moment. You do this for all four of those. But you can make this album as big or as small as you want. my little crazy crafters in here I'm running around getting into things in here playing with a bag yeah, and our last one all right so now you have all your holes now the last thing you're gonna do line all these up you're going to use whatever binding you want to use I have some real pretty satin ribbon huh and you're going to just take a length of ribbon here and you're going to take it from the back or wherever you want your tie at And you're going to go through all of those holes. Place it all through those holes. All right, then you're going to tie a real pretty bow. I can't tie a bow with my eye to paint it on, it goes. There you go. Now, you now have a cute little album, and it lays flat, and you can open it up and add uh, little boards in here, or like, uh, say you want to mat your uh, mat photos, or make mixed media pieces, or anything of that nature you can put it inside these because you can hold at least two of the boards to go inside I don't have any boards in that size but just imagine that this piece of board this piece right here was as big as this here you could make a pull tab and you can stick it inside or you can stick little goodies inside you can have two in there, three in there, four in there, however many that you want inside this little pocket here. 
and I forgot to glue that down but that's okay I'll do that in a minute but you can fit quite a few photos in here now what you do to make the cards to go in here is you basically make it as wide as this or just a little bit smaller to be able to put into the tucks here and you can decorate it you can make panels here and panels here and you can decorate it any, any way that you want to it's your uh, it's your own imagination and uh, maybe one uh, maybe one of the tutorials I will decorate this up or I'll do it in a live you never know but this is a really cute and easy um, easy album to make and it'd be great for uh, for a, a daughter or a, or a son or a niece or nephew that's graduating school and you want them to remember uh, highlights of their highlights of their school uh, and memories that they made while they were in school so there you go quick and easy uh, paper bag album alrighty guys I hopefully uh, you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and uh, hopefully I inspired you to get out there and make some of these. Alrighty guys, I love you all and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!